Hey guys, so today I'm going to share with you a grocery haul. So if you haven't heard, I am no longer keto and I live a low carb, high protein lifestyle and low fat and I have been loving it, loving it. It's almost been three weeks now soon it's going to be, I think. Time is flying by. I have never felt so good, although I will say I love keto. I would recommend keto, you know, for certain circumstances and all that. I think keto just taught me everything, taught me so much about nutrition and just how to eat, how to count, how to measure, watch what I'm eating, control what I'm eating because that was a huge thing, especially if you're always feeling hungry. Keto just satisfied me so much. So I'm very grateful to keto. So I do not want anyone to think that I don't like keto. I love keto. I think it's such a great way of eating. However, for my fitness goals, I had to change it up and add some carbs into my lifestyle. And I've been feeling absolutely fantastic. So there's nothing like feeling really, really, really good because with my workouts, I was feeling very fatigued. I would literally fall asleep on the couch midday, like one, two o'clock sleeping and because I would just be so pooped from my running, working out, doing my weights. And I, now I just have a, just a lot more energy during my workouts, but I just schedule my food a lot differently. I don't strictly intermittent fast anymore as well, but it's a whole nother video. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I'll definitely do like an updated like video for that. All right, let's get started. So choice of fruit these days that is one thing that I missed on keto. I would have to say it's fruit, but I didn't miss it like so much where I was like upset about it. However, I think it was like last year, somebody was like showing cherries in one of their videos. I totally completely forgot about cherries, like that they even existed in the world. And I love cherries. So I do plan on getting some of those this summer. But anyway, kiwis is the way to go. Google about kiwis. They're really, really good for you. Definitely great for muscle building and all that good stuff. But I grew up loving kiwi and I got George eating kiwi. He tried kiwi for the first time the other day in his whole life. And uh, yeah, so I got two of those. I also, I wasn't with, the, wasn't with this haul, but I have them right here. But I have some sweet potatoes. These are really good. So you just put them in the microwave. So those has been great. I just eat one at a time. I still watch my carbs. I still only eat about 100 carbs a day. So I do not eat a carb heavy diet still. But it's kind of nice to have a little bit more options. But like I've said before, I actually enjoy keto because that it's very restrictive because it's just very like tunnel vision. I like that. That fits my personality. For some people, you might go off the rails, like feeling restricted. I don't. I actually feel like when there's more options, it gets more complicated. That's why I don't really make recipes or anything like that because it's just like, it's just too much going into the equation and I just like simple things. But anyway, you gotta do what works for you. Uh, George wanted some sugar snap peas. He hasn't had any in a really long time, so we got some of those. Uh, I wanted to get some rice cakes because this is going to be my pre-workout. And I got some strawberry, sugar-free strawberry jelly. I still eat, or is it preservatives? I think it's preservatives or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, um, I still eat a lot of keto things, but especially the keto things that are low in fat. I've cut my fat drastically to what I used to be eating, and now I eat so much more protein, getting those muscles going. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I got some of these, just got plain ones. I should have gotten organic, but this grocery store, this Weiss Markets, um, they don't have a lot of organic at this location. At some of them they do, which is great, but that one was very small, so it is what it is. This bread, OMG, 647. I still eat the Audi keto bread, but to be honest, this is so good. And I've been making my anabolic French toast. And you want to get bread that's like squishy. Because if it's like firm, it's probably, at least in my opinion, I don't think it's going to soak up the egg whites because you're using a lot of egg whites. And then when you put it in the pan, I need to do a video because I feel like I make them so good, better than I think most people. But anyway, six net carbs, 40 calories, seven grams of fiber. That's the other thing. I feel like I get a lot of natural fiber with my fruit, which I have been enjoying that aspect. Um, but yeah, I love this bread. They have Italian version, whole wheat, whole seeded, I think. Um, they even have hot dog rolls. I haven't seen if they had like burger buns, but definitely gonna be getting those hot dog 
rolls though for sure this summer but honestly I can always just skip it because I like eating hot dogs plain anyway because I'm used to that from keto but again I don't really eat a lot of high fat so usually it's like chicken turkey and they're very lean turkey or chicken you know what I mean I got this outshine no sugar added I thought that this was a good little treat I wish they had the enlightened ones because those are no sugar and again very low in calorie for one of them it's only 45 calories and it is nine eight carbs so not too bad and you know for what's available at my grocery store things are so sparse there's not a lot of things out there these days. Jello is one of them. Um, I've been hooked on Jello, even though this is something I could have eaten a lot of when I was keto. And I ate a lot of it at the beginning when I started keto, like the first like couple months. But I think when we were in lockdown, it was just ordering and I honestly really wasn't thinking about it. But I put a little bit of um, like Ready Whip on here and it's delicious 10 calories you can't beat it i even bought um the box version because they're out of the lemon lime or the lime which is george's favorite so i was like i'll make you some so and i got an orange one so that way when i put the ready whip on top it'll be like a creamsicle <laughs> sounds good doesn't it oh my god these are i'm so obsessed with these <laughs> there's nothing like these in my life oh my god this is seriously my favorite snack Ugh, since like changing over to my new way of eating. This is the Laughing Cow and Go Creamy White Cheddar with pretzel breadsticks. 140 calories, uh, six grams of fat, 14 carbs, six grams of protein. Just like a nice, nice treat. There is nothing like a pretzel, like I don't know. And it's just so good, so satisfying. I feel fine eating that. It was on one thing that I was a little worried about because with keto, it always made me feel so full. And with the new way of eating, I was like, I just don't want to feel hungry, but I'm working out a lot these days. I'm doing 75 hard, um, as well as my normal like two hour workout. So I'm working out a lot. So I do tend to get a little bit hungry throughout the day, which is new to me. Um, but I don't think it has to do with the fact that I'm not eating high fat because I'm eating high protein. Like when I'm eating my meal, I feel so full. Sometimes I can't even finish my meal because I feel so full from all the protein. But um, yeah, so I just like space things out more than I ever have and around my workout to maximize my pre and post workout. These I saw, this is the banana nut oatmeal. And this is like really clean. Everything's like organic and like, yeah. Um, <laughs> 160 calories for one packet, three grams of fat, a little high in carb. It's 26 grams of carbs, seven grams of protein. Um, this is definitely something that I would eat pre-workout. So I tend to usually eat my higher carb things right before workout and a little bit after as well. Um, but yeah, let's see. Okay. So we all know fruit is like super expensive these days. Um, so I was like, you know what? Let me try frozen fruit. That way then I don't feel like I have to scarf it down every single day if I'm not in the mood or if I'm just switching up what I'm eating. So it is one thing with keto. I eat the same things over and over again. So like in my fitness pal, it's like pay playing Tetris, right? Like what goes with what and this and that. And so I really learned what foods to eat in what days that went well with so what, so basically like you knew what foods would fit all in your macros for the day so i'm still like learning okay what goes with this so i could have my anabolic french toast and then for dinner i would automatically know what to pair it with that sort of thing so anyway sometimes fruit i might not want to eat it every single day depending on what i'm eating if that makes any sense i hope this makes sense anyway so i want to try some frozen i don't know if i've ever had frozen fruit um so this has strawberry sliced peaches mangoes and pineapple I think this is like defrosting, so I need to get that into the fridge. Okay, or freezer. So then these, um, George told me about these. These are the NYX ice creams. This one is the coffee caramel, six net carbs per pint and only 240 calories per pint. For the whole pint is only 14 grams of fat. Super, super amazing. Protein is nine grams for the whole pint. Obviously, I mean, it's great because you could eat the whole pint and it's gonna be like, wow. Ben and Jerry's, you're upwards over a thousand, you know, per pint. So this is awesome. I have so many other flavors in my freezer. I need to do probably a like another fridge freezer tour. Um, so if you guys want to see that, let me know, like this video. But uh, yeah, and one serving is only 80 calories. So super awesome versus the Rebel where it's so high in fat. That's why some keto things, they are so high in fat. 
But then there's also things that say keto on them, but they're technically not keto because a lot of them aren't high in fat. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah. And then for yogurts, I wanted to try this peach one. I don't remember trying the peach and George says I have, but this is the ratio keto, which I love. I love these. They are 15 grams of fat and 15 grams of protein. So it's like the same ratio, uh, two carbs and one gram of sugar, but I can totally fit these in again, playing Tetris and maneuvering everything else that I'm eating for that day. And then George got the key lime uh, protein, 25 grams and these are low in fat so if you're watching your fats these are great because for the whole thing that's something they're really high in calorie though so you have to watch out like this is 200 these are 170 four grams of fat uh eight grams of carbs three total sugars none added oh less than one gram of sugar alcohol in there um so it's probably more like seven carb net carbs and 25 grams of protein. I still count my net carbs. So when I say I do about a hundred, sometimes I get up to mostly 80. Some days I get to a hundred, but I don't really like try, try. It's just like what happens. I really just make sure I hit my protein macro and lower my fat. But, um, and obviously keep an eye out on carbs, but yeah, George loves these. I have vanilla and strawberry that I haven't tried yet personally he loves them I just haven't tried them personally because I've just been eating so many other things and honestly my anabolic french toast is like my favorite thing ever and so high in protein and so good and get this bread because it is delicious I also tried the sola bread I just don't remember what the macros are compared to this but this is like nice and fluffy I love this with some of that strawberry preservatives on top it's so so good if you guys know of a really good macro friendly rye bread let me know about that all right last thing i'll let you guys go <laughs> um popcorn love me some popcorn this is the orville redenbacher's mini bags 12 mini bags um 100 for the whole bag if you were to eat one bag 100 uh calories two fat carbs is 18 and three protein or yeah, 18 net carbs. I still, again, like I, when I count my carbs, I'm still doing net. Just, that's just what I, that's what I'm used to. Anyway, so I want to get some of this. However, real quick, I'm gonna have some of this tonight. Um, this is the Lesser Evil Popcorn. The butter one, I would say I really like a lot better. If you don't like butter, then you go with this one, but this one's still super delicious. But I'm obsessed with this brand. I would have gotten more of this tonight if my grocery store had it, but it didn't. So I just have to go somewhere else or maybe order off at Amazon. But this is like seriously my favorite popcorn of all time. All time. I think they might have microwavable. I think they do, but my store didn't have it either or else I would just stick to this brand because it is so clean. It has organic non-GMO popcorn, organic extra virgin coconut oil and Himalayan salt. So I do try to watch where I can with certain ingredients, especially the really bad oils that cause inflammation and are not good for us. I know there's a lot of that that's still in these things, but I do try and this is so, so, so delicious. Um, but yeah, so, and again, like depending on what your grocery store has in stock, you might not be able to eat super clean that week or prices and there's just so many other variables these days so don't judge people by what they're eating and let me tell you something keto any way of lifestyle whatever you want to pick paleo vegetarian whole 30 it is way better than going through the drive-thru one of the big things when i went keto in january 2020 one of the biggest habits i wanted to break was going through a drive-thru i didn't even care if it was going to a pharmacy drive-thru which i don't pick up prescriptions but even something like that i just wanted to get out of the habit of going up into a window like i didn't want that habit anymore like i still don't even like doing it when i do do it but I like even if I want to go get a coffee or something like I just I rather park my car and go inside and order even though obviously with what's going on you probably don't want to do that either but you know what I mean like you're just like I don't know just that habit of going through a drive through it just get it out of your system but and lower your sugar guys just lower the sugar you don't have to be keto and be so restrictive and drastic but just minimize the sugar because when you're eating just high, high amounts of sugar and high carb, that's the problem. I think people are always talking about don't villainize food, don't villainize a food group. I don't think carbs are bad. Clearly, I freaking have sweet potatoes and fruit and all this other stuff. Like, I don't think it's bad, but 
you really have to watch what you're also eating it with and how is your activity are you burning it off you know are you burning off that glucose that you just ate you know what is your fitness level because if you're just playing video games all day and then you're just eating all this fat and carbs and all that you know all that sugar it is just not good because a high fat and high carb diet is not good at all so do your research do your research and do what fits for you and your personality because weight loss is all up here it's all mindset it is all mindset so if you change this you will lose weight you it will happen for you so if you guys have any questions please let me know below definitely follow me over on instagram at hk because i do post over there regularly and i'll see you guys all in the next one bye guys